This video will show you how to add some extra styling to your clickable links. Now, by default, links will appear in a certain way in all browsers. An unvisited link is underlined and blue. A visited link is underlined and purple. And an active link is underlined and red. Now, usually the active link you only see for a split second as you're clicking on the link. Now, using cascading style sheets, also known as CSS, you can change the default look quite a bit. I mean, you can change the color of the text, the color of the background, even the size, type, and family of the fonts used in those links. Now, there are four different states of a link. Unvisited, that's normal unvisited link. That's the underline in blue I was talking about. Visited, that's a link that the user has visited. And that's what I was talking about as far as it being underlined in purple. Hover, that's the state of the link when the user mouses over it. And by default, with no CSS, usually there's nothing that happens. Just your pointed cursor might turn to a hand. And an active link is a link the very moment it is clicked. And again, you got to look fast because it's going to turn red, but only for a split second before it takes the person from that link to the destination. Now let me go ahead and open up my Komodo editor and show you what this looks like. I've got a little bit of content already set up here for my HTML5 page. We've got a little styling in the head section and a clickable link, which is demonstrated down below. Now the styling, as far as having this set up in your style tags, you have to remember that there's a certain order to this. In other words, you can't just throw in hover up first and then visit it and then active and then link. You have to have it pretty much in this order because the hover, this is the rule anyway, the hover has to come after the visited and the link and the active has to come after the hover. Even if you're not going to be styling all of these, I would go ahead and get in the habit, if you're going to style any of them, I would go ahead and get in the habit of adding all four of them in this order each and every time. That way you're not breaking any rules. Okay, now, as I was saying, by default, a clickable link is underlined and blue. As you can see, as I hover over it, there's no styling attached, but the default action is the pointed cursor turns to a hand, or whatever your cursor is on your computer. In my case, the default, and that's the pointy thing, the arrow, pointy thing, and that's the arrow, turns to a hand. Now, whenever we add some styling to this, you need to add the little curly brackets. And using Komodo, it does a lot of that for me. I just use the opening curly bracket, and it automatically puts the closing curly bracket in there. So I'm going to hit the return or enter key. Give me some space here. And I'm going to change the default blue to, let's say, pink. So I'm going to use the property color. And then after the word color, you have to put the colon. And then defining the color, we can use either RGB, the actual name pink, or the hex code for pink. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it simple. Now let's go ahead and save this. And there you go. Not the prettiest color, but still just demonstrating that you can change the color. That's how you do it. Now let's go to something a little bit brighter here. And save, and there we are. Now like I said, we can add additional styling to this particular link and if we do add additional styling we have to add the semicolon at the end of the first styling or the end of the first value now then let's go ahead and get rid of that underlining there and we do that by using the property text dash decoration and the value none and add the semicolon save and you see right here the underline is gone and you can go on and on and on now I want to add some styling to the visited and to the hover. So we go ahead and click on this to activate it so that it will represent a visited link. Now let's hit our back arrow button. Now then it's purple, which is the default styling or the default color for a visited link. Let's go ahead and change that to red or let's make it yellow. Opening curly brackets, hit the enter key or the return key and the property is color and the value is going to be yellow and then the semicolon and let's save and there you are I mean you can't see it but it's there <laughs> could have made a better choice and now then let's add something to hover let's add a background color let's say blue so opening curly brackets hit the return key to give us some room and the property is going to be background dash color and the value is going to be blue again you can use the RGB color value you can use the hex code or as in this case, you can use the color name. Throw in the semicolon and save and hover should turn blue. Now another idea would be instead of adding a background color, you can add a background image so that whenever you hover over it, that image pops up instead. 
So that gives you a pretty good idea of some of the things you can do if you wanted to add some additional styling to your clickable links. That's going to bring us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.